Hi. So, yeah, my name is Juan, and uh, I'll be talking about what I'm proposing to work here. So, first of all, a little bit about me. I'm an assistant professor now. Uh, I'm a hackathon enthusiast. I've been to three BLAS, two biohackathons, and 70 plus hackathons. And my research work is in electronic phenotyping, machine learning, pharmacovigilance, and pretty much everywhere, all over the place. So, uh, to, to start talking about Odyssey, uh, I'll talk about uh, the OMOP project before. Is anybody familiar with OMOP? Yes? <laughs> so this is what happened to OMOP. Basically, funding ran out, and OMOP trans uh, basically transformed into Odyssey. And here, basically, Odyssey is a multi-stakeholder interdisciplinary collaborative, which focuses on open source solutions. So I'm a part of this initiative in terms of phenotyping and NLP work. Uh, Odyssey is a global community. There's around 220 researchers involved in this, 21 countries, 114 data sets converted which from 19 different countries, which you know brings to 1.9 billion patient records with a lot of duplicates. And around 2,200 million people are not even uh, are from Korea, Japan, and other countries. So here, the reason of Odyssey and the reason I, I like to participate in this is that you know, the traditional approach for our observational research is that, you know, you have a study, so maybe you want to find, you know, adherence to a drug, basically in different data sets. And each data set has its own model, has its own data structure, format, and everything. So you start, you know, you have to do a study, and then you have to figure out all these convoluted ways of plugging it in to be able to replicate it, or at least run it in multiple places. So you know, this is pretty bad. So the reason, that's why I like Odyssey here, because you know, this is not scalable, it's not transparent, it's very expensive, very slow, and doesn't really work. So the solution that Odyssey proposed was data standardization. This will allow to do systematic research. You know, when you have all these different studies, but all your data everywhere is standardized. So at least, you know, for to do the studies, you have the tools, and to standardize your data, you have the CDM or common data model. This common data model, you know, it includes uh, standardized clinical data, standardized health system data, derived elements, health economics conditions, and but the focus of this and the glue to put this all together is the standard vocabulary. And this is why I'm here today. So the standard vocabulary, you know, it's a single concept reference table. It has around three million concepts that are all, you know, mushed in together, which in a way, I mean, Odyssey's done the work of, you know, you have LOINC and you have RxNorm, you had ICD. All those vocabularies are not really compatible in the sense that, you know, they all have different fields. So at least the Odyssey vocabulary narrows them down to this, you know, six, 12, like 14, 13 fields. So they standardize all the concepts just to be able to use them all together in a vocabulary that will be used for a you know standard data model. So this is nice, this is all in good, but obviously when they flatten everything down, you know, you lose a lot of things. And uh, what I'm trying to do here is that okay, Odyssey vocabulary is this huge large CSV file that loads into a database. Well, all the people that like to link data, this is cringe worthy. So now, you know, my my purpose here is to convert this into an RDF and link all the included vocabularies to standard URIs. I've done this for at least SNOMED, uh, and I've linked it to UMLS, so, but I'm trying to push it beyond that because, you know, I want to, the reason I personally want to do this, you know, if you want to link outside to drug bank, sorry for the horrible typo, you know, you can do that, I mean, you will be able to do that after we have it in a semantic web capability. And also I want to link out, you know, SNOMED, MESH, ICDs for phenotype enrichment, meaning that, you know, I build phenotypes with this vocabulary. I want to enrich, enrich the features by linking it to other vocabularies and, uh, and also link it, you know, to human phenotype pathology and other kind of things like that. So this is my project. Hopefully it wasn't too convoluted. Thanks for Travel support and for letting us be here working on this and questions.